there is a lot of fear mongering in the name of this world gandanta gandanta zone gandanta planets gandanta dashas gandanta transits so what is this gandanta exactly astrologically materially psychologically philosophically spiritually so today we will discuss about it in short and we will try to see how to know what results gandanta brings for us right and the word seems very uh, dangerous it's, it's like a very dreaded word you know, gandanta some people say that gandanta means drowning so if a planet is in gandanta that means suppose somebody is lagna lord ascendant lord lagnesh is in gandanta then people say that that person will die because of drowning well these are very extreme statements to make but let us try to see what gandanta is and yes as usual if you are new to the channel please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me regarding uh, any of your gandanta planets then you can always go down to the description section of my videos where you'll find the link to my website and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him even in the gandanta zone <coughs> So what is Gandanta? Astrologically, the technical stuff first. Gandanta is the last degree of a water sign and the first degree of the corresponding fire sign. So for example, 29 degree of Pisces to 1 degree of Aries is the Gandanta zone. Then we have the Aries and Leo Gandanta, 29 degree of, uh, so, sorry, Cancer and Leo Gandanta, 29 degrees of Cancer to 1 degree of Leo. And then the most famous, <laughs> the most notorious or the most dreaded or the most feared uh, Gandanta zone is the Scorpio Sagittarius. 29 degrees Scorpio to 1 degree of Sagittarius, the Jeshta Mula Gandanta zone. That's the most crucial Gandanta zone of the entire zodiac. So, what is Gandanta? Gandanta means something which is ending. That's all, finished. Video closed. <laughs> That's the word Ganda Anta. Something is ending. But the thing is, why is it feared so much? Because wherever anything is ending, either good things are ending or bad things are ending. Always remember, either good or bad. Anything which is ending and when something new is starting, there is some level of pain and suffering involved in it. Even if it is changing from bad to good, what to speak if it is changing from good to bad? So suppose you are uh, happily satisfied in a job and somebody someday somebody calls you and says, oh, we will give you double the salary. All right, so will you come and join us? And then you are very happy and then you say, yeah, yeah, we'll join, I'll join you. So then what happens? Double the salary means double the responsibilities, double the hard work. Not necessarily always, but if you see traditionally, it's the way. So many times people think that oh gandanta means bad or it, it means good no it's not like that now what happens exactly during gandanta during gandanta you are forced to let go of something yes i am using the word you are forced to let go of something that doesn't work anymore or that is not supposed to work anymore so Gandanta is actually a very beautiful thing. Imagine uh, you are doing things which never served you. And now the universe is forcing you. Karma, destiny, law of nature or God or whatever you call it, is forcing you that please stop doing this nonsense or something with no sense. <laughs> so when something is ending, in Gandanta, you have to understand that that is something which I anyways had to give up eventually. If not today, then some other day. 
and that's why the saying goes abhi nahi abhi nahi to kabhi nahi so whenever something is in gandanta or something is transiting gandanta zones you should feel very happy about it so suppose somebody's uh, fourth lord is in gandanta any of the three gandanta zones then what happens well there are a million things that can happen but whatever happens will depend on the planet who is the fourth lord what what is the situation of the planet so so for example if somebody's fourth lord is jupiter okay you are a virgo lagna for example for virgo lagna jupiter is the fourth lord and for sagittarius lagna also now suppose uh, for sagittarius lagna jupiter is in the 8th house in cancer in 29.2 degrees of cancer although degreeally it is not exalted because jupiter gets exalted in 5 degrees and later on it's in mool trigon or on own sign but as per the dynamics of the sign you could say the planet is still exalted now what this means is that after giving up something you become 10 times more powerful because you are becoming exalted which means you have given up something which has been holding you from millions and billions and trillions of lifetimes or you will have to give up something which that planet represents all right so if 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 it's the fourth lord it can be related to mother or property or vehicles any any similar stuff now suppose take the example of mercury mercury if it is in the pisces zone gandanta zone it will be debilitated because mercury gets debilitated in pisces suppose mercury is in 29 degrees of pisces then it's in the gandanta and also it is in debility so what does this mean well now it means the opposite <laughs> it means that to come out of that debilitation you have to give up something which is very heavy which you don't want to give up whenever something is in gandanta you have to understand that it's like a truck truck load of karma which you are carrying with you and these are the most difficult points to study in a horoscope all right so i have always seen in my limited experience that gandanta zones are the ones where you have to use your free will the most why now you may be thinking i just told that you will be forced to give up something and now i'm saying that you have to use your free will but then if we are forced to give up something how how in the universe is free will acting here no free will is acting free will as i said in my recent uh, video series with aman baby ji in my channel which was going on from one to months <laughs> so in that i said free will in an, and destiny are not at war they are not opposites they are like two sides of the as in hindi they say na rail ki do patri <laughs> now the why because one side gives us the results of our past which is destiny which cannot be changed no mantra no remedy no gemstone no puja mantra tantra yantra mudra sutra shloka nothing can change destiny it's not possible but then what is free will free will means how you react to your existing destiny that's what is free will so now suppose uh, the, you you have your mercury in gandanta zone okay or saturn is in gandanta zero degree of aries in debility now nature is forcing you to give up something but then how do you react to it do you get angry are you fierce or you like oh i'll kill this person how dare he did this how dare she did that 
Many times I have seen exalted Venus in Gandanta. Oh my God. <laughs> Venus gets exalted in Pisces. So if Venus is in 29 degrees, it is in Gandanta of Pisces. 29 degree of Pisces, it, it is in Gandanta. So sometimes I see these people, you know, how did I have a breakup? How dare that person say no to me? <laughs> so now what you do? Suppose you had some failures in relationships, Venus in Gandanta. All right, so life had forced you to give up somebody or that person had given you up. So now what do you do? You take revenge. Oh, I will go on bitching about this person. I have seen couples will have breakups and then chapar 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 Is that what Yes, it was like that. It was like that. It was like that. If the other person was so crooked, so terrible, so bad, how in the universe were you so stupid that you were hanging out with that person? Well, that means if that person is stupid, then you are equally stupid. All right. So before you criticize your partner, just <laughs> because you were the one who had led that person inside your life. All right. So. <laughs> So next time when you criticize somebody who you were with for a long time or even for a short time and you were singing songs and you know, heavenly pleasures you were experiencing. So think of this. So that's where free will come. So the, the important thing in Gandanta is not what happens because that is anyways going to happen. You cannot stop what is going to happen, good or bad as I said. But the point here is, during Gandanta, you have to use your free will properly. I mean, every time you have to use your free will properly. Free will is that which creates your future destiny. The current destiny is the result of your free will of the past. All right, so suppose you stayed with one person, Venus in Gandanta, and that person said, Oh, I can't stay with you anymore. Bye bye. For some reason. <laughs> and then now what do you do? You go on tarnishing the image of that person. Black and blue, black back and forth. <laughs> you have successfully ruined that person's image in front of everybody else because your freaking bloody ego is not able to tolerate the fact that that person does not agree to the to the fact that you are the center of the universe right or you accept your karma so that's that's one side of the free will and now the other side is okay i accept my karma if you don't like me then i will be paying i'll feel bad but still i will not tarnish your image and instead of looking for physical pleasure or you know, mental pleasure sexual pleasure <laughs> like dogs in streets like animals with this with that with this with that he she he she girlfriend boyfriend blah, 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 like this instead of doing this you look for spiritual fulfillment now this does not mean that you remain a celibate and you don't marry i'm not saying that what i'm saying is you you have to refine your conception of what gives you happiness because whenever there is there are breaks in relationships then people become very spiritual sometimes or they get into addictions but that spirituality that doesn't stay for very long because then when you find somebody else then you throw god out of your life lath mark ke nikal dete bhagwan ko when you were having that problem, when the Gandanta zone was active, then you were reading Hanuman Chalisa, you were chanting uh, so many mantras, my God, you were reading uh, Bhagavad Gita, you were reading, yes? And Krishna says in the Gita, Suri the Sarva Bhutanam Gyatva Mam Shanti I am the most well-wishing friend of everybody. 
but you forget that and then next time when you know good things come in your life materially not good i would say appealing things come in your life you forget what the gandanta zone was trying to teach you so gandanta is an experience of death gandanta is a very beautiful junction because it gives you a trailer of death what happens at death everything and anything that you had is taken away from you stripped ek second ek jhatke mein khatam finished <laughs> so gandanta gives you a moment to prepare for that ultimate scenario yes that's what lord krishna says in the gita antakale cha maam eva smaran muktva kale varam antakale cha maam eva at the end of your life whatever you think of that state o oh son of kunti you shall attain without fail that's what is the translation of that shloka so if you are thinking of a big uh, bungalow all right the gandanta zone taught you suppose your fourth lord was in gandanta many 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 times the fourth lord was teaching you don't get attached to property don't get attached to uh, this uh, cars vehicles don't get attached to soft beds but you did not listen what happened gandanta zone activated a car accident then you were like oh no problem we'll get another car you become more animalistic gandanta zone is trying to teach you you fool one day you are going to die now only i am in gandanta i am the fourth lord one day one day you yourself the whole existence is going to go is one day going to go into gandanta but we do not realize that and then we go and get another car maybe from a mercedes we get a rolls royce and then one day it's all over <laughs> all right so that's what gandanta zone is so whenever any planet is in gandanta take a note of the dashas or whenever any planet is transiting in gandanta zone all right so for example now mercury mars and sun are going to cross the gandanta zone of scorpio to sagittarius very soon mars after some time of course so take a note what mars rules in your chart look what is happening when mars transits gandanta look what is happening when mercury transits gandanta those two days mercury transit for two days mercury sun two days mars maybe three days for two degrees very 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 important that will give you a flavor of death no you will not die but you will you will experience the flavor of something being taken away from you so you try to think that okay now this thing is been taken away from me i'm i'm so much fearful i'm crying what will happen to me the day when everything is taken away from yasya ham anugrahami harishye taddhanam sa that this shloka is there in the mahabharat this is very famous lord krishna says to yudhishthir maharaj <laughs> when i offer my special blessings to somebody i take away everything which they have not blessings when god blesses you he keeps giving you all this all the filthy useless disgusting stuff of the material world <laughs> dhanam janam sundarim all these things you know, opposite sex money name fame power position everything god will give you but when he gives you special blessings what does he do zup <laughs> and that's what he did to the pandavas and to draupadi and that's what he did to everybody to dhruva maharaj to prahlad to to everybody and then their two colors came out because when you put gold into fire the gold shines more on the other hand we have people like duryodhan 
Yes, Duryodhana and company. When they were put into fire, their ugly sides came out. <laughs> All right, Duryodhana and his uh, counterparts. So that's the point which Gandanta wants to tell you that one day everything will be taken away from you. So prepare for that day, prepare your consciousness. And nobody is going to tell you all this. Everybody will be telling you, oh, this will happen, nice, that, blah, blah, blah. Oh. But that's the fact of life. Death is painful. But don't worry, we don't have to make it more painful than it is. All right, so let us experience Gandanta's own. Let us be grateful to God and to the universe for giving us our karma or unloading our karma. And let us use our free will properly and not try to damage others, other people, other organization. Let's not do that. Let us accept that it is because in our own karma, that is why this has happened. In fact, it's so funny. Recently, somebody had asked me, you know, That person told me that uh, I'm going to get married uh, maybe in the next five years. I mean, I hope to, he said. And then he said, can you tell me how, how will my uh, future girlfriend or my you know, life partner or my wife, how will she look like? Will she look good or bad, you know, nice, ugly? How, how will she look like? And then I told him, she will exactly look like your karma. <laughs> Should I repeat? She will look like your karma. That's all. Simple. <laughs> your karma has good, good looking people. You will get. If you don't, you won't. That's what karma is. <laughs> you just sit in the restaurant and you are directly served what you deserve. All right. So. Always remember that whenever a planet transits Gandanta, let us not make decisions regarding which we regret later on. Ah, aisa kyu kiya maine? <laughs> I wish I had not spoken those words. I wish I had not done that. I wish I had. Do you also sometimes feel, I wish? <laughs> Everybody feels, you know, most of the people. So, Next time when planets are in Gandanta or you are running the dasha of that planet, remember that one day you may say this to yourself, Gosh, I wish I did this. I wish I did not do that. More than I wish I did, I have seen people lamenting, I wish I did not do that. All right, so don't put yourself in a precarious state. And others also. <laughs> so use your free will properly during Gandanta. Whatever happens, accept it as your own karma and the will of God. Because ultimately, Krishna says in the Gita, Ishwara Sarva Bhutanam Riddeshe Arjuna Tishthati, that I am there in everybody's heart. So whenever somebody is doing back to you, remember, remember and remember. My guru used to always say this. Unless Krishna has sanctioned, he cannot do that. <laughs> so that means if somebody has insulted you or cheated you, that means Krishna wants that, yes, I want to teach this person a lesson because you did the same with somebody else. So now you get it. So that means anything bad which is happening to us, it, it is because of our destiny. And God's will is there. Because we had done something similar to somebody. Alright, so now this does not mean that if somebody is going on torturing or tormenting somebody, we should just let, just sit and say, anyways, it's his karma, you know, he's beating him, so what can we do? No, it's not like that. Justice has its own place. If the government doesn't give justice, then there will be no uh, living person in this world. In fact, 
everybody in this material world seems to live live very peacefully sometimes yes so there was one person who came to my guru once and he said oh you spiritual people are cheaters and liars all of you are crooks because you also have nasty material desires inside like we materialistic people do the only difference is you are hiding it and the only difference is we don't hide and my guru started laughing <laughs> he said are you sure you are not hiding your desires well imagine what will happen if the government declares tomorrow that for five minutes not half an hour for five minutes there is no police and whatever you do you will not be accountable you can do anything to anybody you like and we will not persecute you imagine if the government says this just five minutes or not even five one minute can you imagine what will happen in that one minute no you can't even i can't imagine the world will be destroyed all right so that's the story <laughs> Okay, that is it from my side. Gandanta zone. All right, so next time use your free will properly when the Gandanta zone is activated. All right, thank you very much. And uh, if you are new to the channel, as usual, please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me, then please go down to the description section of my videos. You will find my website there. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you not cross over the gandanta zone he will help you to make the best decisions after you cross the gandanta zone all right there you go god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him